Hi, my name is Zen Hao Chen. I'm a software engineer at MediaTek. This is the work I did when I studied the master program in National Jiaofeng University with my supervisor, Professor Kai Kai Song. We present a real-time motion planning algorithm for human robot IP safety. It can not only keep robot body from collision, but also preserve the execution of robots horizontal tasks under condition constraints of the environment. Model connect video cameras are utilized to track and model dynamic obstacles inside the robot workspace. Our dynamic object tracking system can track moving obstacles efficiently and provide sufficient information for motion planning. For the collision avoidance behavior, attractive and repulsive potentials are generated for robot and the factor, and the virtual force constraints are generated for robot body. The motion planning methods can interpret different collision avoidance behaviors and generate joint velocities for robots to avoid obstacles. We use multiple control points with given a sphere distributed along the manipulator structure. The main strategy is to treat obstacle points as constraints with virtual force. So when it's approaching the obstacle point, the virtual force will be generated and try to slow down with the opposite velocity in condition space. The maximum magnitude of the virtual force is not constant but changing by the critical control points or original velocity. The virtual force only generates opposite velocity to the critical control points if the direction component of the velocity is opposite to the obstacle. Our approach generates joint velocities for a robot body to avoid co collisions, while exploiting kinematics redundancy to preserve the design and effect of motion in task space by using other compensation joints. Let's see the experiment. We use the 6 degree of freedom Tegman TM5 robot in the experiment. It is executing a given hexagon trajectory in test space while the human enters the robot workspace and tries to touch the end effector with the object or bare hands. We can see the end effector trajectory was modified by repulsive force to avoid collisions from the object or human hand. The trajectory was visualized on the left side as green line. In this scenario, an object appears in the workspace while the manipulator executes a desired condition Haskell task. The proposed motion planning method exploits task redundancy to generate a compensation velocity due to the constraint velocity. With the new generated joint velocities, the robot reconfigured its posture to continue avoiding the constraints while preserving the desired end effector trajectory. The experiment showed that a robot can effectively avoid a collision while preserve the original trajectory in the tax space. I'm looking forward to have the opportunity to discuss this paper further with you in the upcoming interactive session.